everyone, I'm Ryan Miller, one of the game designers here at Wizards of the Coast, and one of the guys who designed the Magic the Gathering Commander decks. Commander is a Magic the Gathering play format that wasn't designed by us, but by a dedicated group of players. They came up with the rules for play and deck building, as well as deciding which cards are okay to use. Now we here at Wizards thought it was pretty cool that the community came up with such a fun format. So we thought we'd support the Commander player base by releasing five decks and packing them with cards that work well in multiplayer games. Now the basics of the format is that you choose a legendary creature to be your commander. You then build a 100 card deck around it. Now, you can't have more than a single copy of any one card, except basic lands, and you have to use the colors your commander has. There's a bit more to it, but you can read the rules at wizards.com commander. So what do you get with commander? Well, there are five pre-constructed decks, each containing 100 cards. Each deck also comes with three oversized versions of the commanders in that deck, and of course, you get normal sized versions too. And each deck is packed with cards from Magic's history, plus something we've never done before, new cards in a deck product. All of our deck products before Commander have contained reprinted cards from Magic's long history. Commander is a great opportunity to add cards that were designed with multiplayer play in mind, so that's what we did. There are a total of 51 new cards spread out among the five decks, and each deck has 15 of them. Now one area that has been short on cards for Commander decks are three color wedge legends. So we made 10 new ones. So what is a wedge legend? Well, a wedge legend is any legendary creature that has two allied colors and one enemy color, like the Mimeoplasm. One of my favorite cards from the set, the Mimeoplasm allows you to take any two creature cards from any graveyard on the table and combine it into one huge disgusting creature. And it's got a Tyrannosaurus Rex for an arm, so. While we're talking about my favorite cards, let's talk about Collective Voyage. Now, we did a whole cycle of cards with this ability called Join Forces. It allows anybody on the table to contribute mana to the spell's effect. Now, this one is my favorite because it basically catapults the game from turn 3 or 4 to about turn 12. Next up is Vow of Duty. Now, we did a whole cycle of these auras that basically enchant a creature, making it better, but it can't attack whoever casts that enchantment. That means you can help out a buddy while protecting yourself at the same time. Next up is Edric. Now the reason I like this guy is he's not totally obvious why he is good. You plop him on the table and all of a sudden all your opponents are attacking each other instead of you. Crescendo of War is on the list, not only because I designed it personally, but because it's another card that encourages your opponent to attack each other instead of you. One challenge that many new Commander players face is collecting the staple cards for a 100 card deck. For the Commander decks, we've included some awesome reprints. So that's Commander in a nutshell. And along with our expansion sets, dual decks, and other Magic products, it's yet another way for you to enjoy the world's greatest trading card game. Make sure to check out wizards.com commander for info, deck lists, and much more.